I've led marketing and communications at institutions of higher learning. I've been a voice at top ranked radio stations and I have helped produce an award-winning radio show. I've done talent acquisition for an award-winning global recruitment firm. I've had great bosses and then I've had bosses who have felt that the accolades were more about them and their titles than the work of the team or the organization. I'm Eddie Francis, and I have a lot to say about leadership. I was so curious about what effective leadership looked like after all of these job experiences that I've had with general managers and university presidents and having been a team director myself, I decided to take this curiosity into a graduate program where I got a master's degree in strategic leadership. Leaders are most effective when they have a sense of their own identity and value and they respect the identities and the value of the people that they lead. So what makes you a trustworthy leader? Number one, is self-awareness. Be aware of your values. Be aware of your mission, your strengths, and your weaknesses. The other thing is being aware of the direction you want to go. Because if you don't know where you want to go, then there's no way that you can lead other people in a certain direction. The people I love inspiring are people who are at work trying to figure out how to take that next step. Uh, also, early career professionals and most definitely college students, our future leaders. So this is why I partnered with Greek University for college presentations on personal leadership, career preparation, charitable giving even, and divine nine leadership. And this is my challenge to you. What you have to figure out is how to get all of these different flavors and all these different ingredients and they get them to all work together. When it comes down to the person in the chapter who is spicy, who, who, who are we thinking about? Chapter means we're going off thir for 30 minutes. Now you take a look at the agenda and you notice that you are close to the end of the meeting and you're sitting here going, 40 minutes, we can do 40 minutes, this is gonna be a record. And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, Ross. Um, I got an issue. <laughs> and I know that y'all know about this issue. Oh my God. And I know that there are people in here talking about the issue. But you see, nobody wants to talk about the issue. Oh no, we're gonna walk around the issue, right? <laughs> and the next thing you know, it all breaks loose for like the next 20 to 30 minutes of the chapter meeting. Your 40 minute meeting is gone. It's gone an hour, an hour five, an hour 10, an hour 20. All because Sorrow said it off could not hold it for one week. But if she had not said something, y'all would have walked out of that meeting acting like y'all solved a problem that was never even talked about. Another group that I really think is primed to take this information and run with it and make their organizations great would be employee resource group. Branding is not just the external thing that you see on a package. A brand is an external expression of value. But when you think about those things that make you distinct, how can you express that outwardly to people? You gotta make sure you get the internal part squared away so that the external part is expressed in an authentic, clear, and distinct way. That's what personal branding is all about. Let's create some leaders today. Go to eddiefrancis.com. I'll talk to you soon.